So someone comes to you, Karen, uh, and says, it's also scary. Uh, everyone's dying. Uh, we're doomed. How would you respond to that? Well, I think what I'd say is we're all dying all the time. All of us are on the way. And so to be afraid of dying is actually what we should always be like. That's how, we, but we can't live like that. Mm. We can't live with that level of fear. Uh, and so for me as a Christian, I recognize that yes, living means at some point we'll all die. At some point we will all be confronted by this. It just happens that we're all being confronted by it at the same time. Right. And so what we need to actually get our heads around is when I'm confronted by death, where do I turn? Who do I turn to? Because if we don't have Christ, then it's utterly terrifying. And so you need to somehow work out what does approaching death look like confidently? How can you possibly do that? Especially when you read the newspaper, everyone's terrified, you read, etc. It goes on and on and on. But what does approaching death look like confidently? It means knowing Christ and it means being in God's family. And you need to figure out how to do that, how to become part of God's family. I have to confess, Karen, that we're filming in a church here and one of my first thoughts was, I wonder if they have toilet rolls I could flog to Are take home. Are you serious? No, I'm not serious. <laughs> <laughs> I have thought about that in the last few weeks when we're really worried about losing our supply. But some people have brought that up and said, man, people are being so selfish, like hoarding groceries and you know, toilet rolls, and it's really shown an ugly side to our society. Um, how would you speak to that from a gospel perspective? Well, again, I think the problem is we've been exposed. Our inner hearts have been exposed by the coronavirus. It's not that we're any different to what we were six months ago. It's just that you can see it now. So we could be quietly selfish and quietly self-absorbed whenever we wanted and get away with it. But now when there's no toilet paper, then we're willing to fight to the death for it. <laughs> yes. Well. You know, that exposing of ourselves actually needs to push us towards understanding humanity and understanding that we are flawed deep down. We are totally self-centered deep down. And God says that about us. And he says, you are sinful. And we see it now. For a moment, just for a moment, we see it really clearly. Uh, and we have to say, ah, actually, God is right about us, our hearts and who we are. And maybe if God is right about that, then maybe he is actually right about sending Christ for us because we need help. Yep. Toilet paper shows us we need help. It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> I, I think there's that, there's that sort of uh, belief that an Aussie always helps out his oh, mate, yeah. yep. right? You know, an Aussie always helps out his mate, and uh, this does seem to. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? The bushfires. Ah, oh, Aussies were great. They're yeah. really selfless. They gave lots of money, and it's true. They did. We did. All right, we gave lots, but that was out there, yep. and in here, when it actually is about my toilet paper. <laughs> then that's serious. I mean, that's really yes. serious. So I actually think Aussies like to be seen to be selfless. Yes. Uh, when in reality, we're selfish like all the rest. Yes. Uh, and that actually pushes us towards deep reflection, self-reflection that says, actually, I'm not as good as I'd like to think I am.